hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl lb johnson back with another video and i'm just excited i guess look this big old smile on her face i don't know where this came from but um i guess i'm excited to make this video i feel so clean i just got out the shower uh, yeah I'm so happy now because at first I went to one truck stop for some reason I could not bag in. I tried to park in two different spots. I just had like a little temper tantrum and said, you know what, I'm leaving this truck stop. And I came down to another one, bag right in, no problem. Got in the shower. I feel so good, so rejuvenated. I feel so much better because I thought this day was just gonna be, uh, the way I was feeling about not being able to back in. And I already be feeling like the men just be watching us women, truckers, to see us mess up when it's time for us to back in. So I was just over it. But I got in this one, back right in, got in the shower. The shower was clean and I feel so rejuvenated, y'all. Like, I guess you can see it in my smile because I feel so good right now. But welcome back to my channel it's your girl lb johnson back with another video please like share and subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload another video let's get into it um so today um we're going to talk about an email that i received from one of my subscribers hey girl you know who you are i don't um i'm not going to say her name i told her i keep it completely uh, completely anonymous 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 <laughs> and um so yeah that's just what i'm gonna do but i'm a, she did give me permission to read the email which she sent the email a few days ago um about a week ago but like i said i've been kind of busy doing nothing <laughs> but busy you know what i mean so the email reads hello my name is and for the past 11 days i have been doing a 14 day prayer for your future husband i decided to do after surrendering my love life to god at the end of so after surrendering my love life to God at the end of last month, I asked the Lord if he could give me a dream, if he could give me a dream or a vision for what I was waiting for. So I could be encouraged and keep waiting. The Lord did just that and I had a dream. I was walking in a park with a man I could not see and he asked me, why don't I look at him in the eye when I talk to him? And I told him that he makes me nervous. I said jokingly. He told me that I didn't need to be nervous and I turned around and saw an aging man with brown eyes looking at me that I have never seen before. And so after that dream, I went on with my business until yesterday when I went into the new dentist's office. I had only gone once to, I'm sorry, I keep getting messages, um, text messages. I had only gone once to. I looked, up at, I looked up at the office counter and felt my heart go boom when I saw the exact same man from my dream. It just happened so it just so happened he was my new dentist. When I went to the dentist chair, I actually had a great time. The dentist and I talked the whole the whole way getting to each other and the dentist was even flirting a little. The day when I was home I asked the Lord if that man was flirting with me or just being nice and if he if we should continue to pursue each other. And then went about my normal routine until I went outside and saw a pair of doves sitting on the fence and then they flew then they fl flew up and made a half circle around to a different tree. I took it as a sign of God's love and confirmation. Though now I'm unsure, though now I'm unsure what to do. So, let's get into it. I stumbled over that so much. Uh, I hate when I do that. I really want to read it again, but I'm not going to read it again. I'm just going to read the last sentence again because that's the reason for this video. So she said, though now I'm unsure what to do. Y'all know, I'm not married. I can't tell nobody what to do. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with my king of style. But I did respond. Well, I'm gonna read my response to her. I'm not gonna read everything because we had a quite a few messages. So I'm just gonna read my response to her. So I said, hello. I really appreciate you sharing this with me. I was just fussing with God because I'm struggling with my calling and losing faith in my king of spouse. God sent you as an angel to remind me why I do this. This is a beautiful story. Have you seen my video about the three doves? But I have something even better for you. That's gonna trip you out. I was riding down the road today and saw two birds. I assumed were doves and heard God say clear as day where two become one. 
what do you do next ask god to confirm that this is your king of spouse ask god what do you do next once he confirms this is your king of spouse i'm being led to tell you to pray for him cover him in prayer as if he's already your husband ask god to order his steps and direct him to you be specific with God with exactly what you need from your husband. Don't tell anyone about him other than your spiritual leader, whether it's a pastor or a spiritual parent. Don't approach or tell him unless God order you to do. Be begin carrying yourself as a wife. I hope I answered your question properly. So, when you do identify who your king of spouse is, me personally, I never, I never really went to my king of spouse and said, hey, God told me you're my, you're my king of spouse. No, I never did that. I never did anything because he already be thinking I'm a little cuckoo. So I'm the one who think I'm all the way cuckoo. I ain't crazy, but he think I'm a little cuckoo. But um, so I never like just told him like, oh God, tell me you you my told me you my ordained spouse. I never told him that. Um, I have expressed like you know I really for some reason keep looking like something right there. But um, I have expressed to him like I feel like you know you're the person I'm supposed to be with, like you're not the person I want, or things like that. However, I never just said you're the person God ordained me to be with. But um, personally, from my experience, this is what I wish I have done in the beginning. I can't say if I made the best decisions. I mean, if this is the right decision or what, but now after going through this journey and living in it for over six years i personally feel i wish i mean i personally would have told my younger self then not to say anything just pray about it not to say anything to my king of spouse not to pursue my king of spouse really just pray about it um you know, me and my king of spouse, we did have um, a sexual relationship. But had I known the dynamic of this situation, of the um, of what it was back then, I wouldn't. I don't think I would have gave myself to him. Then, I think I would have kept myself, even if I was dating other guys, messing with other guys, and if I slept with them. But I don't think I would have wanted to mess up this sacred union with sex i think i would have just kept myself from him um and i just would have played it cool i would have just let god order each and every one of our steps i would have prayed for him continuously which i do anyway but i would have did it back then and i was doing it back then too but i would have just prayed for him um, I would have been so eager to get in his presence. I would have let God really order our steps. And you know, I think about this all the time too, because like last year, me and my king of spouse, we was on bad terms. We hadn't talked to each other for months, but we ran into each other at this cigar bar. We didn't say nothing to each other. I didn't look his way, he didn't look my way. I don't know if he looked my way or not, because I didn't look his way. I don't know if he looked my way. But we didn't say anything to each other. And I just think, like, I'd be wondering, like, what if, you know, because I didn't go to the cigar bar for him. He probably would have thought, <clears throat> he probably thought I did, because that is the place that he hang at. <clears throat> but I went because I was near it. And people had been telling me about it. So that's why I went. But that's his spot. That's where he hang at. So he probably felt that I came because he was there. Or because I knew that he came there. But that wasn't why I went. I went truly because I was just right. I passed in. I was like, let's go. But I wonder if... I just wonder, you know? Like, had I met him? Well, when I met him, I met him years ago. But if I just would have just let God with our steps, would our steps have led to us seeing each other that night? And then we rekindled and like hey how you been Ca caught up and that night had it been started then i wonder how that would have went it probably would have went a lot better but that's not what happened in our situation we continued to talk from the first time we met and we had a lot of ups and down and ups and down but um I guess now I'm just talking about my king of spouse. I was trying to stay on topic, but I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna do what I wanna do. 
but um we had a lot of ups and down and i just wish i would have told my younger self if i was talking to my younger self i would have told my younger self wait <clears throat> pray about him pray for him let him go do what he gonna do you go do what you gonna do and let god bring y'all back together not y'all try to pursue each other allow god to bring y'all together and as I stated to her, begin to carry yourself as a wife. If you really truly feel that this your ordained spouse, begin to carry yourself as a wife. Begin to carry yourself as a husband. Um, like I said, continue to cover them in your prayer. And just let God order y'all steps. And y'all will come back together. If it's really your kind spouse, y'all gonna come back together. But yeah that's what i would have did if i knew better back then um but i ain't know no better so your girl was in it like deep in it deep in it and i went through a lot of pain a lot of ups a lot of down i must say we're it was all worth it it was all worth it <sighs> It grew me, it made me grow up. It definitely helped me grow up, but it definitely helped you girl grow up. I had some old messages I wanted to give to y'all. I had a dream last night, which was weird, but I, could, I couldn't get it. I was in that dream like, God, please calm down. Like I could not get it. I was hearing the messages, but it was just like, they were just like, like they was just I this is my second time having a dream like that where the messages like be thrown at me and typically I would get the full picture and understanding throughout the day. So maybe later on today I'll get the full picture of what that dream was about. I couldn't catch it. I could not catch it. But I did have a dream. And um I know it was good. It was beautiful. I can't believe, I can't remember, but however as I told, um, stated to her, I had seen um, two doves that day when I messaged her back. And God said, and her God said, we're two become one. And I feel like a lot of us, we're in, like, you know, she said, she also, in a later email, she informed me that when she met her kin spouse was when I put the message about your, you and your kin spouse is in the same vicinity. So, and some people ask me, like, if I don't know who my kingdom sponsor is, how I know I'm in the same vicinity as him? There go your answer right there. Like, you know, she don't know who her kingdom sponsor is, but she dreamed about him before she met him, and so happened he was her dentist. So, it can be anybody. It can be your dentist. It can be your boss, your co-worker. It can be anybody. You may not know right now that this is your kingdom spouse, but you're somewhere near you. At that time when I put that message out, you were somewhere near them. Um... But now I'm feeling like Like you and your kin spouse y'all there And let me and I'm being transparent like I'm saying this because Of my experience right now with me and my kin spouse like woo, I see God working y'all like I see God working um, I feel like your kingdom of spouse is in preparation as well. Like, just, yeah, I know I'd be hoping my kingdom of spouse don't ever see this. Because like I can say he think I'm crazy already. So he see these, he might be like, oh, she loony to him for real. <laughs> but, uh, just like, I was looking, we was looking at TV. And I seen, like, in his YouTube search, like, it's like he's been doing well just not even looking at that but just looking at that i noticed that he's been doing stuff um just doing stuff around his house like trying to do stuff like you know like um build stuff around his house and i'm just like that's what i need in a husband because that honey do list <laughs> But you know, that's not just, that don't mean that he's in preparation, but that's something I need. But you know, I'm not, I, but I, I'm like, that's something new that I notice about him. Like, I never noticed him doing things like that, you know? His house is beautiful, but I never like, it's like he's becoming handy, handy in his home. 
and I'm just like and I noticed like with me during my preparation stage God had me doing more like um, being a little more domestic in the home like cooking and cleaning and things like that and so I'm just like okay is this his version of being in preparation is God preparing him like this or what I don't know but I just noticed that that's something new about him like he always been clean he always been cooking his house always been decorated very nicely but he's building stuff and ain't nothing more sexy than a man who working in the house you building stuff you working in your little yard in your garden oh that is so sexy i just seen a man just be a man <laughs> so i noticed that about him and then like But yeah, I feel like your kingdom spouse is in preparation. And then, like, just even him is like, I noticed that he's falling so deep. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. I don't know what God is doing, but I, I can't give it to nobody but God because like I'm like it's not like I'm doing anything different and this man is like falling head over heels. You would think we just met today. Like the man is woo falling head over heels. <laughs> and I, the only thing I can say is my prayers are working, y'all. That's the only thing I can see. So, yeah, I'm just going to say the prayers are working. So, I'm just going to say, y'all, yeah, just like, I don't like how my lips are looking. I don't like something on my lip. But, I'm just going to say, y'all, yeah, just, you know, when God do reveal your kingdom spouse, like I said, I'll tell my younger self, pray about it. Pray for him. Cover him in prayer. Cover her in prayer. Begin to carry yourself as a wife, as a husband, and just allow God to order y'all steps. And like I said, I wouldn't become sexually active with my kingdom spouse. Even if I became sexually active with somebody else, I just feel like sex just does something to the union. Um, but so I would have just like kind of went my own way, focus on me wait like try to grow i do believe my kingdom spouse played a large role to who i am today but so maybe i needed to be active with him not sexually but just be in conversation with him to get where i am he didn't he never like told me oh you need to do this or you need to be this or, but just being around him motivated me to be better and um but i wouldn't I wouldn't suggest becoming a sexual actor with your kingdom spouse. Unless, you know, if you already is, okay. But I wouldn't suggest it to nobody. Um, yeah. Yep. Dang, I wish I can get these messages. That's what I get for being away so long. Y'all, I can't remember the messages I had for y'all. But yeah, so pray for your kingdom spouse. Ask God to confirm me with you. Um, begin to prepare yourself as a wife walk prepare yourself as a wife as a husband walk as if you are already as if you are already there and like i said i really do you know not just <clears throat> not just me and my kingdom spouse but just noticing like what's going on my, me and my kingdom spouse i do feel like the people who watch my videos my subscribers i feel like we're one body like truly i feel like we're one body I feel like God have me, um, I'm not over y'all, I'm not y'all leader, I'm not y'all pastor, I'm not y'all teacher, I'm none of that, okay? But, I do feel like God, being that I'm, like, being that this is my, my platform, I feel like God have me go through stuff to lead, to lead, I guess, because I am the one in the forefront, but this is our platform, this is our we, I feel like we all one body and I know I can learn from y'all as well as y'all can learn from me but I'm no I'm not over anybody it's just this is I'm the person in the front of the camera but um <clears throat> I 
but I do feel like just seeing what's going on with me and my chemo spouse I feel like God have a lot of y'all can spouse in preparation and if you're in um, contact with your chemo spouse they're falling hard for you like they're falling hard for you they're falling hard like and this not let me say this you know i'll let y'all know when something's good when god said this or if i just noticed this or this is just me noticing what's going on with me and my kingdom spouse and i feel like like i said i feel like we're one body so i do feel like they're falling hard for you and then something else my kingdom spouse oh he made me so mad y'all he made me so mad because he informed me that i scare him and I know that already. I already knew that. He didn't have to tell me that, but I want to hear why. And I know why already, but I want to hear that the horse's mouth. And so, um, and I'm like, why? Why do I scare you? And he was just like, nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He didn't tell me. So yeah, I feel like you scare your kin spouse. So if you're in contact with your kin spouse, you're being delayed because you scared them. Now why? I can't tell you why because the brother didn't want to tell me why. Yeah, he he got out of that, y'all. He didn't want to tell me why, but yeah. Um, but personally, I feel like you scam because this is why I feel like I. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I feel like you scam because you're too good to be true. And that's what I feel because, like I said, I already knew I scared him. I knew that. It was nothing to it. I knew it. Your action shows it. But I feel like um, you're too good to be true. And being that you're too good to be true, it scares them. You're everything that they pray for. I said this before, but I feel like you're everything that they want, but they just like, this can't be real. He or she can't be real. Cause I've been praying for this and I got exactly what I want, but it's scaring them. Like just maybe I might just be happy with this person And I've been waiting all these years And now Is it really time Oh man I'm scared I might blow this I might blow this Or he or she might just leave me Or he or she might see the real me And not accept me for who I am So I'm going to keep them at a distance Because I'm scared But no and that's what I feel, y'all. That's what I feel. Um, but, like, that's what I think he, that's how I feel he feel. Because, like I said, the man is, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what God is doing. Because I'm not doing anything different. I might be doing a little bit less. So, I, I don't know what God is doing. But I noticed that the man is like, what is going on? Oh! I'm falling hard. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like y'all King's Cross is falling. I feel like they're falling for you. I feel like they're scared to fall, though, because they just feel like you're too good to be true. <sighs> I hope. I hope that gave somebody something. I hope that message was for somebody or it gave somebody some kind of peace. I understand like with these messages I know when I um, watch youtubers I just be needing it give me hope that's what it's for that's it give me hope even if it's not gonna happen I don't well I'd like to believe whatever I, I receive what I believe and um I like the believe that it's gonna happen for me whatever it may be so I hope I have given somebody hope in this this video um, I'm gonna leave the comments open please y'all don't don't attack me in my comments don't, don't say nothing crazy if you don't agree with what I'm saying just don't say nothing at all cuz I don't want to have to turn the comments off for those who just want to communicate with me and if it gets to the point that I have to turn my comments off feel free to email me don't email me with no foolishness because I will check you for real in my email because nobody can't see it and then, and then you coming into my private area but please please 
don't attack me in my comments y'all don't attack me in my comments and don't come in my email because then you you coming for me for real but y'all come on talk to me in the comments i hope i i hope i gave somebody some hope because i don't know i know we all be needing it sometimes but i wish i remember my dream from last night y'all it was good i know it was good um i do feel like somebody too is becoming one i do feel like love is on the rise i do feel like some marriages is about to happen some proposal is about to happen these kingdom unions is about to come together and i feel like we we're getting there y'all we getting there just hold on hold on just a little while longer here's what you ought to do trust and believe my friend he'll work it out for you I got his able cause he cares for you, cares for you. I think I might have missed some words. He cares for you. Hold on. The Lord is here. Answer you. I can't remember the lyrics, but just hold on. Hold on. He's coming. I love y'all. Have a blessed day. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. And I think that's about it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.